everyone! Welcome to my channel, Legacy Homemaking. My name's Kristen. I'm a second year homeschooling mom to four kiddos, age nine, seven, five, and three. That's my dog that you hear walking along our floor. Um, and today, we are going to be doing what we call a fun Friday. Uh, we work really hard Monday through Thursday, get a bunch of work done. So on Friday, we have minimal school and we just have fun. So actually today on our Fun Friday, we're going to be running quite a few errands. And so we'll be out and about doing that. And then when we get back, I'm hoping that we all have enough energy and stamina to um, maybe do some fall baking. So I will just bring you along for the journey and show you kind of how we spend our Fridays. Thanks for being here. I really need a tripod. Um, so right now we are about to go and I forgot to pick up my wheat order from Azure Standard. So I've got to go pick it up from um, the lady's house that uh, is in charge of getting all that together. Um, so there's that. And then we're going to head to Walmart. I have bought a present for a little boy's birthday party that my, my big boys will be going to. And this evening while me and my girls are at a uh, wedding rehearsal for them because they're gonna be flower girls in a wedding tomorrow. It's gonna be so sweet. Um, and so we got all of that going on and I'm hoping to also take them by the Dollar Tree because our school store, what we use for reward system, is looking pretty bare. I have not stocked it back up since I bought stuff at the beginning of the school year. So I'm gonna go and let them pick out one treat for this week and then maybe help me figure out some things that they would like to have in their store for the coming weeks. So that is about what we got right now. Um, yeah, that's where we're headed currently. So this is our store, pretty depleted. Um, honestly, what goes the most though, I did not realize is candy. They love the candy. So we'll be buying more of that at the Dollar Tree and filling this all back up today. Yay. All right, guys, what are we doing? Baby. We're going to Dollar Tree! Yeah, what a baby! Uh, hi, quit yelling. And then Wait. we're going to the dump. Yes, you're going to go with Pops yeah. to the dump. Hallie, Kate, you're going to stay with me. Yay. All right. All right, let's go in and dump see what we can find, so okay? Fun. Yeah. All right, come here, Hallie Kate. Where are we now? Target. Nope, not Target. Where are no. we? Where are we? Walmart. Walmart. All right, we're about to head in, and we're gonna go get the birthday present for our little friend and Beckham. Oh, yeah, it'll be super Wait. fun. His birthday is today? Uh, I think it was last week. Oh, but so we'll head there and maybe grab a few other things like randomly that we need peanut butter and stuff like that and then and daddy ate all of the peanut butter daddy did eat all the peanut butter and did not replace it and did not tell mom so we had to have what jelly, sandwich. jelly sandwiches it was very sad um so we'll do that and then i dropped my boys off this up, sorry. yeah hold on just a second i dropped my boys off um to help my father-in-law unload some stuff so, it's actually just me and my big girl today. So we'll go in here real fast and then we'll probably go eat some lunch together yeah. and then head back to the house. You ready to go in? Mm -hmm. Excited? Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right, so see you in there. <laughs> As you may have guessed, taking a little girl into a store, you will totally be stopping at every sparkly and pink thing. But this was just such a fun treat for both me and her just to walk through and let her look at her leisure and tell me what she likes and what she didn't like. We just had such a good time. Give it to us. All right, grab it. What we needed? Yeah, grab it. Yeah. Uh-oh. What is it? Grab it. A nurse gun? Yeah. Oh, a nurse gun. It gave us what we wanted. That is so crazy. So cool. So cool, huh? Cool. Okay, now what are we doing? Since we're by ourselves on a girl date. Where are you at? Brahms to eat. Brahms? Why did you choose Brahms? Because it has ice cream. Because it has ice cream. I want But it's one of the least busy restaurants on this side of town, so good choice. 
Ready to go in? Yeah. Let's go. Sorry. Is that it? There it is. You want to grab it? Right here. Yeah, grab it. You're big. We'll show daddy how big you are. You got it? Oh, yeah, girl. Oh, guys, do best fries. Yeah? This way. Say yes, ma'am, please. Thank you. You're welcome. You excited to get it? Yeah, it's cold. It's cold. That's cold. Okay. Why did you get peanut butter cup? Because that's peanut butter and chocolate. I love it. You like all those things? You're going to be on such a sugar high. All right. What do you say? All right, grab your drink. Let's go. Can we have fun? All right, ready to go get sister? It's about time. Go say hi, Lulu. Hi. What's your name? Kimchi Rabbit. Yeah? Here we are. I am unpacking my order from Azure Standard. It's just a really small order. One bag of multicolored organic popcorn and another bag of spelt wheat berries. I began grinding my family's grains a couple of years ago for our flour products and it's been a learning curve for sure but so fun. Um, if you would like to know more about why we do that and the health benefits and things like that just leave me a comment down below or send me a message and I can point you in the direction of the podcast that I listen to. And if there's enough interest, I would love to do a video about it sometime soon. So these jars I'm pouring the popcorn in are actually from TJ Maxx. You can find them there quite frequently. And we just um, pop that right on the stove. I'm going to show you the lid and it has the recipe, like how much oil to use. So this clip is pretty funny. I am unloading our 25 pounds of spelt wheat berries out into our bucket. We store them in food safe five gallon bucket containers with gamma seal lids and um, we were completely out. So I was trying to find the best angle and the best way to do this really kind of a strange job and I didn't have a tripod at the time so I'm just putting the camera up wherever I could possibly set it and of course had some major help but then it got stuck and I was like oh no I cannot figure out how to get this out of this bucket and my three-year-old is sitting there trying to help and I'm just laughing at myself because I know I'm catching it all on camera so eventually I do figure it out um, I thought about cutting the other side, but that seemed like a bad idea. So eventually it does come right off and we finish pouring the rest of it in. Thank goodness, because man, that was touch and go there for a second. Um, but isn't my little helper oh so cute? And this is me trying to figure out where I am in relation to the camera, if I'm even on camera, if this is even going to be worth showing. But anyway, I digress. Uh, just so you know, 25 pounds of wheat berries will fit almost perfectly into a five gallon food safe container. So if once again, grinding your own grains is something y'all want to know more about, please leave me a comment down below and let me know because that is pretty much something that we do regularly. All right, look out, we gotta put it back up, okay? Come help me. That would help. Okay, grab a sad. Is it heavy? I think so. You think so? Uh -huh. Let's turn the light on. Okay, oh goodness. Can you push it in? Sit. Oh, good girl. Good girl. You're doing <laughs> such. Oh, look at you. Say good job. That's all this stuff. Hey, good job. Well, look we, at me. We did it I see that. Hey, say, look at mommy. Say, good job. Good job. Yay. Mommy, it is a So, um, 
As you probably have noticed, there was a slight change of plans. My father-in-law, as we were pulling out, called and said, hey, would the boys want to come with me to haul some brush and take it hot off to the dump and then go eat lunch at Sam's. And so I said, yes, as soon as we get done with our errand of the Dollar Tree, because they were very, very excited about that. Sorry, my dog is being annoying. <laughs> so uh, we went and did that first and then they left with him and I had just my five-year-old, which was such a rare treat. You know, mamas that have multiple children, anytime you get one-on-one -on -one time with that kiddo, it's just so special. So we went to Walmart and went to eat and just in general had a really good time. So the boys still aren't back yet. It's, a, it's almost two. Um, and we have a wedding rehearsal tonight at six. So I'm gonna clean up a little bit and then maybe Maybe the five-year-old and I will, um, maybe we'll start baking. I also wanted to show you and stop back up our um, store so that way I can do a video on that and show you how we handle that one. So that's what's left to do. to show you guys a couple of the things that I found at the Dollar Tree that I thought were cute and that we could use and incorporate this season in maybe a poetry tea time or something of that nature. That would be easy and cheap. This time it is now late afternoon and I knew we would have a full evening of wedding rehearsal for my girls and a birthday party for my boys. So we did not do fall baking but I did promise my little girl that we would do a tea party, so we did that instead in the little bit of downtime we had in between. Um, she made invitations, that's the markers that you see behind us, and we just had a great time. And it was good, a good reminder for me just to um, spend that time with my kiddos and to love on them and to do what is fun for them. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this day in the life. We had a good time filming it, and we just love our fun Fridays. Um, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.